We're back. Yeah. Now we're stuck on this. What's this, like, the eighth attempt? Not even? The footage is playing over there. It's reco it's, uh, re it's rendering right now, but... I think we're up to... It's not eight. It's like five, I think. Five attempts or so. That's too bad. Oh, it's... You're dead. I'm dead now. Wow. That's that a, a great way to kick this off. That's a good start. <laughs> I hate this goddamn game. No, you don't. I... Mm. You... The, okay, first and foremost, it was your idea. Okay. That <laughs> doesn't mean that I liked don't it. Don't lean a tattoo on shit. What? You're not supposed to... Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. Like, it's literally impossible to do that unless I do like this. Because it's going to lean into my... Yeah, yeah, all right. It's going to lean into my corpse. Fran's got new work done on his on his arm, and he's excited about it. And I'm like, maybe don't lean that on the couch. Up, up, up. Arms up. Whatever. <laughs> Plural. One. Two. Three. Oh, God. Not exactly what I uh, would assume you wanted to happen. Oh, my God. Why? Because it's the moon presence? I was... I was told that this was easier than Garmin. Uh... Huh. <laughs> Wasn't by me. The, the, the thing that makes this boss particularly difficult in my experience, maybe not the toughest boss in the entire game, the health pool is relatively low, is that the moveset can be very difficult to read. As, like, aside from the forward swipes, which are pretty straightforward. Oh my god. Oh, this thing has reach. I want to take one attempt at Flaming Cleric Beast. Fine. We have to... We don't have, I don't even care if we beat it, but I refuse to have us go through a, a playthrough of the game where we want to kill every single boss. Where we don't kill any And we boss. don't at least attempt this other boss. Isn't it like... Isn't it, Does it have a boss bar? It is a strictly optional boss, but it is 100% a boss. So it There's, has the boss bar. It has a it has a bar and everything. It's in. Do you have to start at Hunter's Nightmare? Yes. Because it's like that first area, right? Yeah. Because you literally have to run all the way up through where the uh, basically the equivalent of of the the run that we made to do the Eileen's Charge all those times. I love that we beat him in the dumbest way imaginable. That was fun. Memories. Okay, I do have it. I'm gonna bring the mic a little closer. Yeah, that's a good plan. Don't make a necessary noise. Oh god. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, I'm really hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's why I called you back and I was like, yo, pick up food and you were like, nothing's open. Yeah. You want to go get ramen after this? I do, but <laughs> there's... Th I have two issues. Okay. I only have $17 until tomorrow. That's... Which is enough for ramen. But no but then nothing else. But then nothing else. Right. And the other issue that I have with this... Right. Is that Chipotle has queso dip now. I... Uh, what? I don't know how I feel about Chipotle having queso dip. I don't know why, that just strikes me for some reason. Oh god, this you guy. Just go past him. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh god! Oh. You can do it. Just run. Oh, I also leveled us up a little bit off screen. Uh, you leveled up our uh, the last time you were here, you leveled up skill to 28. Mm -hmm. I leveled it up to 30. Okay. That's it. All right, let's give it one good one good try. Give it good old college try. You just gotta hit him, right? No. Oh, what? You don't even have to do that. I thought we picked up an item from in here before. We did. Oh, and then when you come back, when or? you come back with Lord's skull, the boss is like, "Hey, fuck you." That's mine. No, right? it's not. No. Oh. The cleric beast and Lawrence have very little to do with one another. Hmm. As far as I'm aware. I don't know. I don't know the specifics of the lore. I also don't really care. Is this one of your, like, favorite Souls games? Yeah. Okay. Well... Rank them. 
I think we've done this before, but rank them. I'm pretty sure we have two. I think you did like two, three, one. Blood no, blood. two is not number one. Oh, it's no. three, one, two. It's three blood. It's three, one, Bloodborne two. Okay. And then demons somewhere. In Which I I never played it, so I can't say. Yeah. Okay. And Crash Bandicoot's at the top. <laughs> Lawrence, the first vicar. Oh, okay. So it's Lawrence. Interesting. I didn't know anything about oh, this. God. Oh, you're dead. Wow. Oh, right. That was an attempt. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right then. I'll, I'll I'll give it a thorough shot. Right. Give it an actual like smash and just anything. Right. You getting the itch? Yeah. Yeah. If you want, I can spot you. I got paid last night. Let's get ramen. Okay. We're going to Galvado Burger. God, fuck. No, it's too far. No, it's too far and you have work. I understand. I was falling asleep when you called me today. Again. Yeah. It's the regular thing now, is I'm asleep like 80% of the time. Also, I forgot to put the little green glow in that one episode where you told me to turn on the, uh, the, the lava, lava lamp. lamp. And guess what? What? It totally picks up the click. I know. It's super audible, actually. I know. Like, I was looking at the audio levels while you were, uh... While I did it? Yeah, while you did that. Because I went back and I was like, holy shit. Not only did it get it, but it was super noticeable. You heard... Did you hear it in post and you were like, I should do this? And then... Well, no, because we specific you specifically made a joke about it. Like, you should totally edit in a green glow while the, while the, the lamp oh is god. on. Oh my god, oh don't, my god. Don't oh die before you even get oh there. God. Oh my god, oh my god. What the thing that we forgot to think about is that that lamp stayed on for the remainder of the day and until like 3 a.m. Because I remember having to turn it off while we were playing Overwatch that night. Oh god. Which means that it was on the entire raid. Ah, that shit. almost killed you in one hit. This is a substantially tougher version of the Cleric Beast. Not that I have a problem with that. Oh god, that, oh. that oh. is... This is a much tougher boss than I was expecting. Like, I heard that it was way harder, but I had no concept of what way harder meant compared to every other boss. How did you miss? How did you miss? I want answers. I'm, I'm gonna pull away right now. I don't know what... I don't know what Lawrence just did there, but... He was doing some swipey swipes. Oh, come on! That shouldn't have hit you. Okay, so the, the health pool's not giant with this guy. Yeah. I would say it's probably about 30%... Oh! Fuck. About 30%, you know what would probably help you here? Like, a huge amount? What? The uh, bone. The uh, hunter's bone. Yeah, but then all my bullets will go away. It only costs you, like, two, maybe three. Miss. Oh, fuck, you hit him. Yeah, this is totally doable. I'm pretty sure he has a phase two, though. I think he's at it right now. That's a, yeah. Oh, run, running, running. Go. I think literally what his phase two or phase three is, is that he gains uh, the equivalent of a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh oh, Back oh. oh well, that was close. That was super close. The equivalent of what the Blood Starved Beast had, where it's just an aura that just shoots the element at you when you oh, get too close. Shit, that was close. Actually, that hit. Oh. oh! There's the next phase? Yeah, that's it. I would assume so. You're really low, by the way. You're a lot. Oh! I need, I need more vials for this. I literally think that every time he does that little, like, that little prayer move or whatever that is, that his damage goes up. Oh, shit. Oh, That's what it feels oh, like. God. Oh, my God. This is a really, like, crazy fight. Yeah. It seems super do- it seems super doable, though. Oh, that's dead. Alright. Do you want to give it another go, or just go do Moon Presence? Let's just do Moon Presence. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna get obsessed with this boss like I did with Maria. I know. And Orphan. Because <laughs> it's a super cool boss, but 
we want to finish this. This is episode 60. Yeah. <laughs> so. We want to move on to other better things. Yeah. I also have to find out if I have the cables I need to use my old Xbox. I'll, I'll, I'll root around sometime tomorrow. If not, see. I'm always at a used game store, so if you can't find them, just let me know. Okay. Speaking of old game stores, uh, guess what I found at an old game store while you told I was waiting me. for my tattoo? You told me. Oh, man. You want to tell the audience what you found? I found Mega, uh, the Misadventures of Tron Bond. I can't. Complete inbox with the Mega Man Legends 2 demo. That's what it was. It came out after Legends 1, uh -huh. and I saw that it had a Mega Man Legends demo, Yeah. but because I never, like... Where are you going? The game wasn't... Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we're fighting the fucking... God damn it. I guess we're fighting Lawrence again. Alright. But because, um, I never... Like, the game was never in my periphery until, like, after the fact. Yeah. I didn't know, uh... I didn't know that it was, a uh, Legends 2 demo. Yeah. So I automatically assumed that Tron Bon was... First. Right, yeah. Because it chronologically takes place first, so... Yeah. Well, actually, it doesn't. I thought you said it was a prequel. It, it, it actually... It tells the story of what happens to the bonds between Legends 1 and 2. That's oh, what it was. alrighty then. That would explain why it came out after 1 and before 2. Yeah. Ooh, that was weird. Not in a good way. I don't want to be here. Don't forget you have that empty phantasm shell. That's probably good damage. It's fire? We'll see. Maybe. It's a beast, so... Theoretically, anything is an improvement. What? Oh, I missed. I can't make heads or tails if your damage is better. Ah. You're well, dead. it doesn't matter, because I'm dead. Yeah. Alright, but let's go to Moon Presence and end the game. Yep. Well... It's up to you! No, I mean, like... End the game. Oh, yeah. With giant air quotes. I well, that's just, the thing, is that... I wish you could add that in post, it's just me doing giant air quotes. I could. Nice. I may. You're not gonna. I probably won't. <laughs> I felt really bad, by the way, about episode... What was it? 65? No. 67 and a half? Uh-huh. Because... No. Yes? No. No, 57 and a half. That's what it was. Yeah. But because, like 67. Oh, God. Was, oh, yeah. 10 and a half episodes from now. Um... <laughs> Because I wanted to make that a full episode, and there was some really funny stuff in there, uh -huh. but there's just, like it was just no content. There, like there was nothing in there. Right. There was a couple of good jokes from us, which I and the because I had to render that video at like three or four times. Mm -hmm. Because spoilers, I'm not an expert, and I have a tendency to fuck it to fuck this up. Uh, that that episode five of us playing WoW, uh -huh. I had to re-upload that four times. Yeah, I had to re I had to edit, render, and upload that video on four separate occasions within like two hours, because Goodness. every time I would go back and review the parts that had the heavy edits, something was wrong. <laughs> like initially, it was like okay, well I got this part to work, oh, but God. now the uh, now the YouTube link parts are just flying off the screen, and I don't know why. Or it was like, okay, well now those are working, but now for some reason the uh, Ray Gets and on. and uh, Kalaba uh, profile pictures aren't showing up on the video, and I don't know why. Like it was a bunch of what? weird stuff. Damn it! I don't know how I got away with all that shit. I also don't know how you got away with all that shit. You oh. should really consider the old Hunter Bone. I put it on earlier. Come here, motherfucker. I really thought it was gonna catch you on the next way around. Oh, God. That was- OH MY GOD, IT BROUGHT YOU ONE HEALTH! Yeah, that's- Oh, and it has a cooldown on it. Fuck. Oh, shit. Damn. One hit kill. I read that in the thing that I read before we started fighting the Moon Presence. Yeah. It was gonna do that, and then it was gonna have a cooldown, but I ran away from it. Yeah. Yeah, unlike every other uh, boss in the game, this one you researched. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, I'm gonna look up the strategies on the Moon Presence. I was like, why? And you're like, because I don't want to spend a year fighting it. <laughs> Which is fine. Oh, yeah.
Oh god damn it. That That's was bad. not a good start. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Heal, heal. Oh no! Hunt the bomb. Shit, shit. Oh god. Oh, god. oh. Okay. Well, we're gonna be here for a thousand years. Yeah. Most likely. Hmm. That's not what I want. What did you? Uh, I'm so we were playing WoW last night. We were raiding and playing Overwatch and stuff. Yeah. With the guild, and I brought up the idea of being a voice actor because I have the equipment and nothing better to do with my time. Right. And any work is good work for me uh -huh. at this point. So I was. Uh, I I asked everyone who was in the channels like. You think I could be a voice actor, and I don't remember what your answer was, but you seemed like you were very legitimately interested in this concept. I was saying that uh, if you do want to be a voice actor, you should go to Anime Central next year. Bang Zoom is there. Oh. Because they they were holding tryouts for a new animated series. Okay. Or uh, for a, for a new dub. Right. Yeah. Of course. Which is March comes at like. A no, line. they wanted a new CEO. And they were doing tryouts. Right. No, but like. If you are interested in that, definitely go next year because, oh, uh, if they're there. Yeah. Because then you could just do tryouts. It's a thought. Yeah. The the person who did get the job got flown into, uh, I think it was L.A. Damn. It was either, either L.A. or Texas. And, wow. And, like, that was their job. Like, they got paid to do the voice acting for that entire series. That's super cool. Yeah. It wasn't just one of those, like, hey, be a voice for a sidekick. It was a main character. Did you bring your backpack with you today? No. <laughs> you gotta be awake before me. Now we I'm both know that's never gonna is... happen. <laughs> I was talking with Julie about that the other day. Oh, God damn it. Uh, well, you, you hit him. I was talking with Julie about that the other day. About how um, she, uh, she was complaining she was really tired and it was only like 7 o'clock at night. And I was like, have you ever run, tried run. taking a nap? And she's like, yes, and I sleep until the next day because I just qualify it as going to bed. And I'm like, weird. And she's like, the days just don't seem... Uh, sh How did she say it? The days end up being too long or too sh or they're too short or something like that. Why and did I... I that was what? stupid. What happened? I dodged, like, left and then right, so I was just right back where I was. Jeez. Oh, that was not smart. That was almost a great read. It's not gonna pay off. Oh my god, how did you get away with that? Shit. You are at 1 HP. Ah, oh, shit. I was doing Can you thing again? get away with this? Damn. What an anime trade. That's basically. Watch out for the blood rain. Oh god! I can't heal now! I can't heal. That's not good. That is not good. Yeah, just give it a little bit. Wait for the debuff to go away. I'll watch your debuffs and tell you when it happens. Nope, not yet. I hope it's not forever, because that'd be really bad. You're dead. Oh! Somehow you're not dead. That's Blood Rain. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There it is. It's until the next Blood Rain. Jesus. Oh my god, that's stupid. Just hit him! Like, I don't usually want to be like, hey, just fucking do it. But that was one of those times where you had this huge lead and you knew that nothing was going to happen. What are those horrible blood globs flying around in the back? Did you see that? Uh, yeah, those are pain. Yeah, I... Well, I, it's a boss fight. I'm just going to assume everything's out to get you. It's blood rain. Splatter splat... Oh! Oh, you got hit by a blood orb. Get out. Get out. Getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out. You're dead. Getting out. I'm not... No. Oh, 
You went straight back instead of back into and, and to a side. I would. It's my assumption that when the boss is locked into doing forward swipes like that, go in for a tight turn because it won't be able to make it. All right. That's my that's my thought based on what I've seen so far. I'm I'm getting better at this bloodborne thing now. Yep. Close. Cl <laughs> like literally at the end of the fucking series. The last ep potentially the last episode. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> Hunter bone. It's like, hey guys, I killed the last boss. I'm level two now. Oh shit. I want to do a fucking zero level. Oh, fuck that. A zero level run of Bloodborne? I don't have like, the... on my own time. Oh, fuck yeah, sure, go ahead. I was gonna say, I don't have the patience for that. I said 16 episodes in. 60? 60. 60. I, I heard 16, I'm sorry. No, oh, yeah, I, I, I kind of, like, blibbed it with my, with my lips. Also, I was, I was watching Game Grumps, because I do that. Uh-huh. And there was one- oh, you're too far away, don't- oh? <laughs> Just pop out of the fucking- out of the- out of the dodge. Oh, nice. But I was watching the Game Grumps, uh, oh. they did their, uh, special Game guest vid episodes with, uh, what was that dude's name? Grey Worm from Game of Thrones? Who? Uh, I don't know. I don't want. I don't watch Game of Thrones. I don't care. Which like which person was it? I don't know. I don't know. Like describe the physical attributes of the person. It's they don't do face cam, so I don't know what he looked like. In the title card. Short hair. I'm pretty sure he was black. Oh, okay. I, I, I that's the only descriptors I can remember. I don't Maybe, think that guy was in Game of Thrones. I think he was Walking Dead. No, he was Game of Thrones. Was he? Yes. Oh, that's Blood Rain! Get away! Get away! Get away! You're good. I explicitly, I explicitly remember because everyone's like, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones! And I'm sitting there going, ha ha ha! What? Eyeball. How many more stamina? I need to run. Wow. Blood Rain! No, it's Blood Orbs. Oh. Or not? No, they might be behind you. Nope. That's, That's blood rain on you. Blood rain. Some stay dry while others get frenzied. Oh, jeez. Is that a sta- Oh, no. No. Might wanna... So, yeah, Moon Presence is uh, not as tough as everyone said. Not this- Oh, God! Not when you're so close! No! 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 I told you, the tight circles, so you get it. I get oh, it. yeah! Hey, it's the last episode of Bloodborne, guys! 60 episodes, bitches! Oh! <laughs> Nightmare Slain. That's good stuff. You did it, and it looked like you were eating your sword at the end. Slitting my throat more like. Yeah, ooh. it's over now. Have you seen this ending online? Don't crunch your water bottle! I'm sorry. <laughs> Look it! I have seen this ending oh, online. Oh, okay. You YouTubed it? Yeah, I YouTube all the endings. Oh. Oh. Uh. I forget what the implication of this is. Do you become the Moon Presence? Not, maybe not specifically the Moon an Presence, but an old one. Yeah, huh. that's, that's cool. the idea. Is that it's? Oh yeah, you're an old one now. What does that mean? Eh, it just means that you pretty much don't care about humanity. Nice. That was the interesting thing because everyone's obviously done a million and a half different uh, analyses of Bloodborne and all the things that happened there within. Right. But the big one is the three end. The best quote unquote best ending is you wake up from the dream and learn and gain absolutely nothing from having hunted through the night. Right. Which is the one where you accept uh, yes Gehrman's thing. And absolutely. He executes you. Yep. Uh, the other one is rejecting is rejecting Gehrman, but being accept but not having consumed umbilical cords. You are. Uh, basically enslaved by the moon presence and you take Garman's position. Okay. And the cycle begins anew and you're in the wheelchair and the doll's taking care of you. Uh-huh. And then the one after that is this one. 
and each one gives you some form of insight into what's going on. Yeah. But the uh, the long and the short of it is that no ending's good, really, because in the ending where you just wake up and everything's back to no like you and you forget you everything from, from the, the dream. Yeah. yeah. Guess what? The cycle continues and it's completely unbroken and it's just somebody else now. Everything's all according to plan. Right. But this is, like, this ending is on level with, like, Usurpation of Fire. Bloodborne, uh, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. Where you steal the flame, and you're just like, I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> I still haven't beat Dark Souls 3. Oh, well, that's one of the endings. Because mm -hmm. I know that there's the, uh, the Undead Wedding. Yeah. That's, that's one, but it's a super convoluted side quest that you have to start, like, right, right away. It also leads to the use of the no that leads to Lord of Hollows. Yeah. Uh, we're done. We're done. But we have an issue now. What's that? What the hell are we gonna put out after this goes out? Uh, well, it's not gonna go out till Monday, so we have the weekend to decide, or we can decide over lunch today, and if there's time, we can come back and record something new. Which would be. Hmm. I want you to stop and think about whose house you're in, how many games I have available, and the amount of equipment that's on hand. That's true. <laughs> we can pick basically anything. Yeah, but I what's want good it to for be like LP. an LP, like a full LP that we can both enjoy. Yeah, I hear you. I still vote we do Halo One. We don't have the equipment for that right now. We're literally only missing one thing. Literally, the only thing that we need is a converter. Oh. That's true. But because I'm buying a $200 game on Friday, tomorrow... Who you bought? Tron Bun. $200? Yeah. It's what? a super rare title in mint condition. I would never go for that, but sure. I, I'm a collector, dude. I know, I know. I just, like, wet, like that price point, I just, like... The, you know the image macro, the guy with the long neck, it's that. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Fucking... Well, no, because, like... Bluff. What's... Have your thought. I'm trying to find a good, like, descriptor for this. Okay. And I can't find a good one. Alright. Like, it would just... It would be the same for you for something that you were, like, super into. Yeah. Like, I can't think of anything. Uh, like... neither can I, because all the things that I want to get wouldn't be hard to get. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So it doesn't really work. I'm trying to think of a good comparison, and nothing comes to mind. Yeah. Oh. Ter terrible reference for both of us, because we don't watch Sport Mall. Uh-huh. But, like... Uh, was it the 83 Bears Super Bowl ring? I don't or know. some shit? Like, sometime in the 80s, the Bears won the Super Bowl. Right. And, like, if one of those rings came out on the market, and one of us was super into football... That's the equivalent. That's the equivalent. Gotcha. It's just like this. This ring is like ten thousand dollars, and I must have it. Right. And you're, and you're just like that is an exorbitant amount of money for steel. Thing. Like yeah. Like if you were into football and that was the thing that you wanted, I'd be like that is a stupid amount of money to pay for like some piece yeah. of shit. Excuse me while I pay two hundred dollars for a CD. Yeah. Or two CDs. Because one's a demo. Yeah, one's a demo. But you know still, what I'd actually really love to do? Huh. Root around and find old demo discs for, like, the PS1 and shit. Like, jam packs? Yeah. Oh, man. Those would be fucking cool videos. There is uh, there is a dude who, uh... Who did Pizza Hut jam pack reviews. Dude, Pizza Hut fucking demo discs were awesome. Oh, man. Trust me, I know. Yeah. That's where I played, uh... Crash Bandicoot 2 for the first time. Nice. And Medieval. Uh, we should do Medieval. No, we shouldn't. Why? Because that game is frustrating in so many words. Is and I know we're saying this at the end of Bloodborne, which is an immensely frustrating title in itself, but it's frustrating because it's not intuitive. Really? Not in my opinion. I don't have explicitly, like, vivid memories of it, yeah. but I remember playing it and being really awful at it, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was also really bad at it. I do own a. I think I own a copy of Medieval 2. Yeah. 
If I can figure out how to get Warcraft 2 to work on my computer and get fucking DOSBox to run that shit, I would say we should do Warcraft 2. Nah. And then Warcraft 3. And then World of Warcraft. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bloodborne's over. I think we should do... If we're not going to do Halo, I still think we should go back to classic Xbox for one specific thing. Jet Set? Jet Set. Jet Set Radio Future's f fucking cool. Isn't... Future on PC now? No. Oh, just Jet Set Radio. Just regular right? Jet Set Radio is, is on Steam. I would know. I own it. Oh. The Rifle Spear. It's a trick weapon crafted by the Hunter's uh, Workshop Heretics. The Powder Kegs. They're called the Powder Kegs? Yes. That sounds like the shittiest motorcycle gang of all time. I would disagree with you. That sounds awesome to me. Powder Kegs? Yeah. I just get the implication that they're like... That they're, uh... Their gas tanks are just like leaking or something. The image it gives me is that they have that is that they have beer guts because a beer gut is called a keg. Right. And now we're back to the beginning again because it's a Souls game and that's just the way that the new game plus works. It's just NG plus now. Yeah. Fuck. Whatever happens, you may think it all yeah. Also, I don't game. think we ever see this guy ever again. No, we don't. I'm gonna miss this game. I don't know who this is actually. That's fine. It's Slash. Yeah, you're right, it's Slash. <laughs> After 40 years, he starts bringing people into the nightmare. So he gets the, he gets the band back together? <laughs> Where do we go now? It's a mystery, I guess. <laughs> I still love the, uh, I still love the Mega Man X trivia about, uh, about Guns N' Roses. Oh, do what? The localizer, um, the localizer of Mega Man X for, um, for the U.S. Yeah. Uh, her husband was a huge Guns N' Roses fan. Okay. So, she decided to make puns out of all of the, uh, out of all of the boss names for Mega Man X5. And they all fit. Into the universe In, and stuff? No, they all, yeah, they all fit with the characters. And they're all references to Guns N' Roses. That's super weird. I'm gonna show you after we're done here, and you're gonna get super pissed off. I'm already super pissed off about it. Or slightly impressed. I have a question for you. What's up? What am I fighting for? Don't even fucking give me that shit. <laughs> fucking, dude, Johnny Young Bosch did that shit in a, uh... What am I fighting for? Wait, hold on, I have a weapon now? What? Fuck yeah! Of course you do. Yeah, but it's NG+. Plus. Yeah. And? No, well, like, I was just thinking, like... Alright, guys, we're here for New Game Plus Bloodborne. Take it easy, guys. Bye, people.